Management and Treatment of Acute Pancreatitis The pancreas is a digestive system organ that has two important functions. It produces hormones that regulate blood sugar, as well as enzymes that break down food in the digestive tract. In acute pancreatitis, the digestive enzymes are activated prematurely and start to attack the pancreas. This causes inflammation, leading to symptoms that are often severe enough to require hospitalization. Alcohol abuse and gallstones are the main triggers of acute pancreatitis. Treatment options for acute pancreatitis depend on the severity of the condition. Initial treatment of acute pancreatitis is supportive. The focus is on resting the pancreas and managing the pain. Since the pancreas is stimulated by eating, Food and drinks are restricted, and the patient is put on intravenous fluids to help maintain hydration. Medication for pain and vomiting may also be administered intravenously. Most people who develop acute pancreatitis only require a few days of hospitalization. However, about 1 in 10 cases are more serious and require treatment in the intensive care unit. The kidneys and lungs can be affected which may require dialysis or placement of a breathing tube. Fluid-filled sacs, or pseudocysts, can also form inside the pancreas. If they become infected or cause symptoms like abdominal pain, gastric outlet obstruction causing nausea and vomiting, or biliary obstruction causing an elevation in liver test, they will require drainage. Surgery is sometimes needed to remove dead or infected pancreatic tissue or tissue around the pancreas. Some specialized hospitals can drain fluid without surgery, using endoscopic methods where the drainage tube is inserted into the stomach or small bowel, or using a percutaneous procedure where a small drainage tube is inserted through the skin. If gallbladder disease was the root cause of the pancreatitis, then the gallbladder may also be removed to prevent future attacks. Most people recover from acute pancreatitis and are offered specific lifestyle advice to prevent future attacks and avoid a chronic or ongoing form of the disease. Patients are advised to avoid alcohol and high-fat foods stop smoking, eat a varied diet that is rich in fruits and vegetables, and keep triglyceride levels in the normal range. Medications that put stress on the pancreas must also be avoided. However, some people never recover fully from an attack. In rare cases, the pancreas becomes so damaged that it no longer functions properly. This is called pancreatic insufficiency. On rare occasions, the pancreatitis can be so severe that it may lead to pancreatic insufficiency. Diet is further restricted, and lifelong medication, such as pancreatic enzyme supplementation, is required.